Hey guys, like I mentioned in my previous video, in this one I will share a gameplay that many of you can probably relate to, especially if you are playing solo rank. In this match I will be playing a tank, but unfortunately got team up with an inexperienced jungler. I am not blaming or flaming him, because sometimes you can just play worse than usual and that could happen to anyone. I just thought this would be interesting, because even if you are in this kind of situation, if you stay focused and try your best, it is still quite possible to pull a W. To I want to delay Karina's buff, but I kind of misheard the sound effect and thought she was going to the blue first. Because of that small hesitation, now it'll be quite late to delay her buff. Probably I could have still done it if only I just knock her up and not allow her to use retribution. It seems like Leslie is playing quite aggressively. This could be the time to redeem myself from the previous play. By the way, this panda will be building offensive items, and believe it or not, it will be completely solo dominating our Alos. That's really interesting. Oof, Cyclops got caught. Now defending this turtle would be extremely difficult. We lost bot as well. This is definitely not worth trying to contest the turtle anymore. Just trying my best as a tank to save our core. Welp. One five, the perfect start for an interesting game. Gotta take the longer path, so hopefully Leslie doesn't see me. One step ahead. Karina is coming, time to retreat. We used all our skills already. That was unexpected. At least it seems like this media is farming pretty decently. We are the shield of the people. 
Go away until my teammate is a bit closer before engaging Leslie. Leslie is probably already sick and tired of me. Akai seems to want to come top. Let's intercept him so Mia doesn't get a surprise gank. Big play incoming. All my skills are on cooldown, and I just saw Karina a moment ago. There's absolutely nothing I can do at the moment. Actually, it could have been a lot worse. At least we managed to kill two of them. But at this point of the game, we are definitely getting wrecked. This is really bad. We are so out of position. The team is getting demoralized, but I have seen worse, so I still had hope that we can do this. Let's try to catch their back line. Wait, Mia is pushing top. We should try to stop the recall. Great job by Mia, she got her inhibitor for free. This Leslie seems to be quite out of position, I want to go for her first. She just needs to get a bit closer. I guess our strategy now is to split push. Pretty effective. Oof, that was unfortunate. Things are starting to look really dicey. Good thing that they are not using their normal advantage and take the lore easily.
I was thinking of old plus flicker in, but there's no point, he's 100% dead and nobody else is nearby. It's going to be a 2v3 and they are pushing with the Lord. Let's see if we can defend this. Let's lower the Lord's HP as much as we can before they get close. A little bit tricky here, we might be outnumbered since two of ours are in the bottom lane. Olo's in the top lane, if we distract them, he could backdoor and possibly finish the base. I guess the moral of this game is that if you're losing badly, then just focus on split pushing if you can. Victory! I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing.